Thoughts on, on that match? Uh, well, we, um, I think we, we defended and we played really well. You know, we wanted to, uh, to get a good result. I think first half, we, uh, I think we were well organized throughout the game, especially defensively, uh, to give n not many chances away. Of course, the quality of, of Leipzig, you know, with their, with their players, they will always create something, but we made it really difficult for them to create the chances. I think the first half, we defended well and we weren't as uh, comfortable on the ball. Second half, you know, we changed a little bit our setup, so we didn't have to run a lot, especially our midfield players. I think we were well organized and also on the ball, you know, we, uh, we, we were more, much more confident. We created some, some dangerous moments in the second half. And, uh, you know, it's always um, disappointing that you lose a goal so late in the game. But, um, you know, it's a 1-0 defeat. And uh, we know what to do next week. You know, it's a final in Seville. We can, uh, we can qualify for, so we have to give everything. And, um, you know, I'm sure that our home game next week uh, at Ibrox will, will give, a, give us a lot of energy to, uh, to overcome Leipzig. And, uh, you know, it's a quality team we also saw today. But, you know, we want to reach the final. So uh, we have to prepare well, as always, next week and, uh, you know, uh, give everything to, uh, to reach uh, Seville. Giovanni, is that the message you've been able to get across to the players, not to be too downhearted about tonight? They're still, you're very much still in this tie. Yeah, it was my message to them as well. Of course, you felt, uh, you feel the, disappointed, the disappointment in the, in the locker room because of the late goal. But, uh, you know, it's, it, we're only halfway and uh, we've shown before our character to, um, you know, to get back into our rhythm next week at home. And that's what we have to do. Uh, it's not many times you have the chance to, to play a European final. So, you know, we have to go all out and, and make sure we do everything to, uh, to win the game. Giovanni, the system was a little different tonight. You had the, the three at the back uh, and the five midfield going yeah. into two, but it, it was quite fluid. Um, would we expect to see something similar next week at Ibrox? Will there be a need to play to the, the however the game's going and maybe alter the shape throughout the match? Well, I mean, it's, it's a different game next week. The second uh, game in the tie is always different because, you know, one team has to take risk because of the scoreline so you know I you I don't think we're gonna we're gonna play the same way like, like we did today you know we have to win we have to win by a margin of two and of course a one, a one goal uh, gets us back into the tie um, but uh, you know I think we're capable in, in doing so uh, with respecting the, the quality of the opponent but uh, you know we had many many great European nights at home and the, the fans will definitely give us energy and will uh, give us, um, uh, you know, all the, all, the, all the ambience we need. And uh, my players should, should fight for, uh, for the final. We have striking options next week. What are our striking options to score goals against Leipzig? Our striking option? Well, any player on the pitch can score. I mean, it's definitely we are losing some important strikers. I mean... I cannot hide that. You can see it, uh, but um, you know we, we showed before that uh, that that we can score. Uh, we did it in in the weekend. We did it against Braga. So um, we did, did it against Celtic. So uh, we are capable in doing that. We just have to uh, make sure we give everything to create the chances. And when the chances will come, you know I'm I'm, I'm sure we're going to create chances next week, and then we have to take them. But uh, you know. Take the chances you get. Gio, Leipzig's celebrations when they scored that goal were pretty wild and pretty strong. For as you said, it's only half time in the game and one 0 Did you notice the scale of their celebration? And do you think that was a tribute and a credit to how you know your team had had stifled them and kept them quiet for for so long in the game? Uh, well, of course. I mean, if you score a goal in the semi final, and no matter which team you know, you will celebrate. Uh, it's it's normal that that Leipzig celebrate the goal because we would would have done the same. You know, at the moment, but uh, still, uh, we know it's not over yet. They also know it's not over yet. So, you know, we we both gonna prepare for next week. But uh, you know, we have our home advantage, and uh, you know, just make sure we uh, we are well organized uh, like today. But then again, you know, we have to score. So, you know, we cannot play the same way we did today uh, throughout the whole uh, 90 minutes.
What's the mood like in the, the dressing room after that, Gio? Because obviously it's a defeat tonight, but as you say, it's only half time. There's still plenty to play for in this tie, isn't there? Yeah, well, the, I think the disappointment was more in, 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 in conceding the goal so late, especially with a, with a set piece. Uh, that's the, um, that was the overall disappointment. But, you know, again, we have to uh, uh, analyze this game and, and, and move forward because, as you said, we're halfway and we have a chance next week to reach the final and we will, we will, go, uh, we will go all the way and give everything to, uh, to reach the final.